Hey guys, uh, I wanted to create a video on how to um, trigger a server-side script from a local script. Um, this can be very useful if you're maybe updating your database with uh, you know current uh, updated currency values for the user that clicks it, or maybe you trigger a, a different action server-side um, based on a user's action. Um, Okay, so uh, I'm in Roblox Studio now. I'm just going to jump into a flat terrain um, map here, and then we'll get started. Um, basically, what we'll do is we'll create a button, we'll test the button, we'll create the server-side script, and then we'll start running some um, actions on the server-side to make sure that it, that it works from the local script side. All right, so uh, I'm in my basic map here. I'm going to uh, just create a button. So in starter GUI, I'm going to add a new screen GUI. And then here, I'm just going to add a, let's do a text button. Um, <clears throat> let's just do some quick styling on this guy. I like the orange. Yeah, there we go. And then let's scale it. And let's say, say hi to server. Cool. All right, so now let's create a local script for this button. And let's first let's test this button so just to make a quick object uh, of the button uh, so we'll just make it a script dot parent and then we'll create a function um, uh, say hi to this will this will be our say hi to server function but we're right now going to print something locally hi from local script let's just try this guy out all right so let's tie this button to a mouse click action and then we are going to connect that to our say hi function. I'm going to remove, I'm going to leave the parentheses out because I want to send the default parameters um, to this function. And this will be used later for when we pass in the player. All right, so let's try this out. This should just print something in the console. Cool. Hi from local script. All right, so that works from the local script. Um, now let's do some server stuff. Um, but first, I need to create a couple more things in my local script. Um, basically, this is going to be the way that the local script and the server script are tied together. So what we're going to do is create uh, a replicated storage object. You could do something like RS, but I'm just going to type it out because it's easier to read for the video. Um, we're going to do game. We're going to get the uh, replicated storage service. Put that into an object. We're also going to... Just create a say hi object that's the replicated storage um, and then we're going to grab the it's just going to be a say hi command yeah let's name it that it's just going to be a say hi command within replicated storage um, okay so now let's instead of just printing something out like this let's do uh, what we need to do is what's called um, a fire server action um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do our, we're going to use our say hi object um, that uses this string as its name. And this is, we're going to use this in the server side script here in a minute, but we're going to use this object to fire the server event. All right, so now that that's created, let's go into our workplace. Let's create a new folder. I usually like to throw my scripts into a folder. Um, I'll just call this one functions for now. All right, so in here, my functions, I'm going to add a new script. And in the script, we're going to do uh, a couple things. We're going to set, we're going to, we need to access the replicated server um, storage uh, service again. And then we also need to create a remote event. So let's get going on that. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Replicated storage oops, equals game. And we're going to get the service replicated storage service. All right. And then we want to um, we want to in, uh, create a remote event object here. So I'm just going to do say hi event equals instance dot new, and then we're going to make it a remote event, and it's attached to the replicated storage object we just created. And then we're going to name this um, event, and this is very important that you name this the same thing that you named that we're that we're putting into this object here because this is how they're going to connect to each other this also saves you the step of having to come over here 
and add a new object into your replicated storage manually. So this will, this will take care of that for us. Um, so now let's make a function on the server side. Um, let's just do say hi from server. And we're going to pass in the player as the parameter here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do print. Um, let's just do something like hi uh, player dot name. And I get the player's name. Um, this is the server. Something simple. Um, and in here, this is where you would do like your, your logic if you were to add more points, points or money to the user on the server side. So you could do your other logic here. Um, okay, so below this function, we need to create a listener event um, that we connect to this function. So how we do that is we're going to do our say hi event object again on server event. We're going to connect it to the say hi from server function that we just created. And again, I'm going to get rid of my parentheses here from that function because I want to pass in the default parameters that this comes with. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, we've created everything we need here. Let's go to local script, say hi command. Let's make sure we have that in here. Perfect. Okay, so if this works, we should have uh, a nice little string come out of the server side. So let's hit play, let's try it out. All right, so I'm loaded in, I'm gonna click my button. Boom. Hi, the Griff Squad, that's my player name. This is the server. Excellent, so that looked like it worked and I can click it a bunch of times. Um, so this is a very basic version of this, but, but you could do all your logic in here, you could do some, some uh, checking of, of existing values, things like this, and, and add more money, you could do, uh, you know, other stuff, depending on what the button or, or whatever it is. Um, I might make a video later to show how to use this to teleport a player to a private um, server, which would be useful for like, if you created a queue system, and then sent four people in a party to fight a boss or something in a dungeon sort of game. Uh, but I'll save that for a later video. So anyway, uh, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, uh, yeah, have fun with it, and uh, uh, thanks for watching.